the trees might get a view and there's an elephant in the distance i can see moving too yeah there, there goes the elephant moving through now tammy um So, Tammy, I'm not sure how much, um, just getting back to your question earlier, I'm not sure how far I got to how much you heard of my answer. We're chatting about um, leopards and them facing extinction. So, basically, I, I'm trying to read up a little bit about it. Now, the numbers of leopards have definitely decreased over the, over the years, um, and that's by man's encroachment on natural habitats. Um, hunting and and poaching of, of leopards and that for pelts and and um, farmers killing leopards because leopards kill livestock but that again goes hand in hand with the encroachment of their natural habitat so there has been a decrease with leopard populations however leopards adapt very very well they, they are not facing extinction at all not at all but we do still need to um, constantly work at conservation and saving these animals not just the leopards lions uh, wild dog rhino elephant all these animals it, all the animals we see out here because and through conserv well through um, people coming on safari and guiding and shows like safari live all of this raises awareness for conservation now the leopard populations um, are very widespread throughout Africa and they are found in many different areas but there's actually very little known on the exact number of leopards in the wild um, to this day and the reason for that is because they are so secretive they are so elusive so they, they're not facing extinction but we do still have to be very cautious very careful that we look after our leopard populations but the numbers have definitely decreased in the past uh, past year, 10, 20 years. Definitely the numbers have decreased. So we've got to be cautious and conscious of conservation for these wild animals. I'm just going to try and move forward quickly and get another view of him. Just see him straight through there, Seb. Let's see if we can get a nice view of him. There we go. That's a nice view through there. Mishman, you were asking if there's any updates on the on the wild dogs. So they crossed up, uh, they crossed through uh, Juma already. Um, so what happened was they ran through along the main access road to camp, and then they turned and they cut north and they ran onto Buffelshook. So. Um, uh, they were found about 10 minutes ago by a guide just driving around on Biffles Hook. He bumped into them on that side. So north of us. So it's amazing. Again, the wild dogs change direction all the time. They could very possibly turn and come back south at some point. So we'll keep a lookout. But, it's, I mean, wild dog, as I was saying earlier, when they're moving around, they cover huge distances very quickly. They're very exciting predators. And... Um, and they're not always easy to find. And it's the luck of the draw, really, in bumping into them. Almost like the the well, almost like bumping into this leopard. Okay. Well, I'm going to see if we can stick with this young male for a little bit longer and see what he gets up to. Now, let's go across to my friend Scott, and as opposed to spots, he's got stripes in the mara.